What's up everyone? Welcome to another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. I had this battle against a uh, guy named Oswald on my stream a little bit ago. Um, and this was a really intense battle. Uh, really a lot of fun. Uh, quick note that uh, I'm going to try my best to try to get uh, easier uploads onto YouTube as opposed to them being every, you know, four or five days. I'm going to try. Maybe not every day, but, you know, every two to two to three maybe. But... Beyond that, let's go ahead and get into this battle. As you guys may have noticed, I'm using uh, quite a few new Pokemon. Um, I'm kind of like rebreeding an arsenal of new Pokemon, so I'm not using the same stuff I always do. I do get three Rigils in there, but three new ones. Three new ones obviously being Jolteon, Porygon, Z, and Swellow, and the old ones being Florge, Ramen, and Metagross. My opponent is using um, Quagsire, uh, Latios or Latias, I always forget which one I'm bad at that. Uh, Zapdos, Infernape. Mega Metacham and uh, Magnezone, uh, so his team is straight power. Uh, everything on his team, I believe, except for Fern Infernape is either Borderline 1 or OU. Uh, maybe Zapdos, I'm not sure. Still don't know why Magnezone is Borderline 1, but I don't use him, so I wouldn't know. Anyway, um, so this is a really, really fun battle. My first thought on his lead was going to be either a Metacham or Infernape. Uh, those are both really good leads. Um, so, obviously, the best uh, Pokemon to take out two fighting types would be my flying type, Cherokee, Swellow. Uh, Swellow's a really cool Pokemon, uh, mine's the typical Guts, Facade Boost. Uh, so, turn one here, I, I'm kind of getting used to using Swellow, and I went for Protect, which I've been doing every time, but I'm, I'm starting to realize it's not always the best bet if you know they're going to switch, which I kind of thought he would. Uh, so, he goes into Magazine, which is the easy switch, and I'm just going to U-turn out after taking the, uh, you know, after the burn. Or the flame orb burns me. So I can just kind of bring in whatever I want now. Uh, obvious, like, electric attack coming here. I either at least thunder wave. Oh, no, I'll burn. So probably just thunderbolt. And that's what he uses. Bring my bolt, absorb Jolteon. Um, now, in this case, my Jolteon's actually a life orb, only because uh, Porygon Z is Scarf, so I didn't want two choice special attackers. So I'm running him life orb just to do it. Um, he's going to bring in Quagsire. Now, the life orb actually hurt me a little bit here, because if I was specced, uh, that would probably be a two-hit KO, and he doesn't really have anything on his team to take a Spec Shadow Ball, so... There's that, but whatever. Uh, so I'm doing a, like, 45% or something dumb. More than that, 49%. I, he lives the second Shadow Ball with, like, 3 HP or whatever, and gets the Recover off. He's not a Recover set, which is a little different. Um, I don't know what item he's carrying, uh, but, you know. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for another Shadow Ball here. And he actually goes for Waterfall, so I'm thinking he was like a full physical set. Uh, had probably had like Earthquake as well. Uh, Scald's probably better, but you know, you don't really want to lower his defenses being a tank, so he ends up having like a nature that lowers one of his attacks. But either way, since he goes for Waterfall, I'm going to take him out with Shadow Ball, uh, but then I'm going to go down to the Life Orb damage, so it ends up being a double down as the first death of the game, which is okay. So again, it's basically like lead versus lead again. I'm going to bring back in uh, Swellow. He leads with Infernape instead, which is you know, kind of the same. I'm going for Protect here, because like, you know, a lot of Infernapes like to carry um, uh, Fake Out. So, went for that, but he's carrying Flare Blitz. Uh, and I don't know if he was like Scarfed. Um, I ended up trying to risk it, uh, because, you know, just because. He ends up Switch, which is okay, and I end up going for uh, Brave Bird. Kind of thought he would switch into Magnezone and that I do no damage, but I figured I'm not gonna risk. You know, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna go for it and try to kill that Infernape. But that's okay. Zapdos going to wall that off um, pretty easily, actually, because Zapdos is a really good tank. Um, obviously, leftovers on him. Uh, maybe he didn't want to items claws on the Quag. I don't know. Either way, though. So here I can go for Facade. I'm fairly certain that uh, a Guts Facade with you know burn and everything um, is going to kill him with that amount of HP, but. Uh, makes another good switch here. Uh, Magnuson would have been the better switch uh, right off the bat. And I think it ends up costing him here. He probably thought maybe he could take me down, but then didn't want to risk it. Um, and Facade does a lot of damage to him. Um, I don't. I, he probably wasn't a, a max defense set. He's probably invested in special attack. Um, and two Facades from him was that. Actually ends up taking him down, which is awesome. Uh, absolute power from, you know, Guts, Facade like that it's so good so it brings in metacham here now i'm at, you know obviously metacham carries buttloads of potential priority uh 
namely fake out the start uh, so I'm gonna bring in ramen because I do not want to risk Squillow dying he could still be really good help against both his fighting types uh, them both being on the field obviously um, so I switched to take the fake out he does end up going for it which is cool um, I'm gonna take very little even with that huge power boost so in this turn, I was kind of predict trying to go for, I was gonna go for Protect to try to scout, but I figured, eh, I'll just go for Leaf Seed. He does go for Hydrogen Take that power is effing crazy. Um, non-boosted physical, non-boosted neutral physical attacks that hurt Ramen like that. That is overpowered stuff, man. I do get the Leaf Seed off, which is cool. Now on this turn, I do go for Protect. I'm trying to like make him go for a high jump kick, but he is gonna switch because of the, uh, you know, the, the leaf seed on him. So, I could have played better there, but that's alright. So this turn, I do go for Protect. Again, this is a potential for Fake Out, trying to see what he's going to do. Uh, he goes for Flare Blitz. Now, this was weird. Um, I stayed in, he went for Thunder Punch. The reason I stayed in is because he's got a powerful Mega Metacham in front of it with Flare Blitz, um, like a Draco Metering Latios, and a Zapdos. Um, there's really not a whole lot that Tang can do to stop any of those Pokemon left. Um, so, I was okay with sacking. He goes for Thunder Watch though, which is cool. Maybe predicting me to go into Swellow and, you know, wanting to get the kill without taking recoil damage on that. But I did stay in. I get his uh, Focus Ash off, which, you know, whatever. I, I could have just Leap Seeded, but, you know. I, I was kind of thinking he was choiced, actually, when I went for it, but, you know. Um, so, now I'm going to switch into Cherokee. Forgot to click Roman Dead. Oops. Uh, I wasn't sure if he was going to carry a Rock Punch or if I could live it, and Cherokee's defenses are really, really bad, so... Uh, he actually ends up getting two kills in a row there, which kind of sucks. I could have played better, but um, that's okay. So I'm going to switch in Porygon here. Uh, Porygon is a download scarf set, which I find really cool. Very right? special attack. So um, obviously he didn't think I was going to outspeed. He probably went for close combat or something, but I got the scarf and I'm going to outspeed. I probably would have lived Mach Punch anyway, and with the plus one try attack, he's going to go down. Brings in Latios here. Now, uh, Porygon was like, uh, this was like the third or fourth battle I'd done with him. So, it, I could have switched into Flory, but I was actually trying to scout how much, di like, I was, I'm trying to, like, trying to gauge his power at this point, so I just go for it. Does one half, which is nice. He goes for Psychic and gets the crit. Fairly sure that mattered. He was Life Orb. Um, secondary reason not switching to Flory is scared of Psy Shock, obviously. Uh, but knowing he's carrying Psychic, he's not going to carry both Psychic and Psy Shock, so I switch into Flory's. Um, he doesn't want to switch either Metacham or Zapdos into a Moonblast. Uh, they'll both take pretty heavy damage. And uh, Metacham would die. Zapdos can't really fight back anyway. So, he's just going to go ahead and go for Psychic and take the death. And that's going to be Latios down, which is going to make this a 2-on-2 two -two matchup. Um, I was actually thinking he'd bring in um, Metacham here. Uh, but he ends up bringing out Zapdos instead. I'm not really sure why. I think it would have been a much better decision to bring in Metacham and, and kill me, because he definitely could have. Uh, but he just goes into Zapdos anyway. He goes for the Thunderbolt. It's going to do very, very little. Um, I'm going to fire off a Moonblast. It's going to be like a two-hit KO from where he's at, even after Leftovers, and I know he can't kill me with Thunderbolt. So this is a matchup he can't win. Um, I think, actually, uh, him switching into Zapdos was a game-changer there, because I don't know what I would have done if Metacham came in. Um, but he goes for Thunderbolt again. Again, it's going to do very little. The most he can do is like put for super, super power hacks there. Um, but he doesn't get it, so he's going to go down to the Moonblast. Um, but now the last thing he's got is the thing I was most scared of, and that's obviously going to be that Mega Metacham with huge power. You saw it, High Jump Kick did like 80% to Tang non boosted, so. Uh, turn one here, I'm just going to protect. He's going to fake out. Um, might as well. I don't want to take the damage. Maybe I can live one attack if he decides to go for a high jump kick or something. I probably wouldn't. You know, maybe. There's no point in not doing it. So I'm just going to try to go for Moonblast, and he goes for Psycho Cut, and I knew there's no absolutely 0% chance I'm going to live that. That's going to absolutely thrash me. Um, and that's Forge down. Now, here was the it was the game here. Um, I, I basically knew uh, what I had to do here. He goes for a high jump kick. Watch this freaking damage. Neutral, non-boosted physical attack to Metacham. Takes me to 4 HP. Uh, and this, I got him down to long to kill him with a pull punch. It really came down to whether or not he had priority that wasn't fake out. Turns out he didn't. Um, and bullet punch is going to get the outspeed there and take him down. Uh, I won with 4 HP. Uh, Metacham's moveset was obviously fake out, psycho cut, high jump kick. And he probably had... Uh, 
Ice or Thunder Punch, probably an elemental punch is always nice on him, so... You know, it's not that bad that he doesn't carry a second prior a secondary priority move. You always want at least one on uh, Metacham, but... Um, his happened to be fake out, he just didn't have anything to stop the bullet punch. But I couldn't believe it, because when I brought a Meta... Or, uh, when I brought a Metagross there, I was like, yeah, I got the win. Because he's not going to carry anything that's going to do enough to kill me. And then my HP rolls all the way down to like four, and I, I swear to God, I thought I was dead when it was going that fast. Metagross able to balk it out. Metacham, though, such a powerful Pokemon. Um, tough battle, close 1-0, always love those. Um, but, thank you guys for taking the time out of the day to watch the battle, I really appreciate it. Make sure you leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the battle. If you guys have happened to find me on YouTube, uh, whether you came from like Ramos or something else, um, make sure you guys check out my stream. I stream six days a week, Sunday through Friday, uh, over at www.twitch.tv slash xchriscobain. It's an awesome time. Um, I'm even funner live than I am pre-recorded on YouTube, so you should give it a look if you haven't got a chance to yet. But that is going to be it for me, you guys. Um, I will check you guys out in the next video.